on our wizards. I wanted to go more in depth today about healing the self and how to become your own doctor. How, how does one go about healing the self? All I can explain is my own journey and um, really healing is a multi-dimensional layered process. So uh, what happens when someone is imprinted with negative emotions from a young age is what they tend to then do is manifest negative behaviours, negative attachments, um, they will pollute the body and then over time all these layers are put on top of each other and before you know it you're just sort of stuck in a mess and you don't know how to get out of it. So you really need to go sort of step by step. So step one is to put yourself in a safe sacred space in a place where you're not being abused or attacked or any of these things so you've got to get a safe sacred space and then step two is you have to start cleansing the body you have to start removing the calcification from the pineal gland you need to start removing the fluoride from the system because all these things stop you from being able to access your higher levels of information your inner doctor is something you are going to start communicating with through meditation yoga and the asking of correct questions which is very important to get the answers to your questions you're going to have to be a pure channel so first and foremost you need to cleanse the body and you have to start eating correctly and putting the correct vitamins in I mean this is the is paramount once you have cleansed the body and you have start doing gentle exercise, yoga, meditation, your pineal gland is now open. Now you can start receiving messages, very clear messages. So the next part of uh, healing yourself is you have to learn to start asking the right questions. You have to sit there and you have to meditate or do your yoga and then after you're in that very quiet state of uh, inwardness, inner being is very uh, peaceful and calm that is when you get your answers so you sit there and you ask your questions what is the root cause of this illness what do I need to understand to let go of this what am I missing what should I do you know you ask the right questions you will get the right answer so um, once you start doing that obviously um, if you've been abused or you've had something bad happen to you, forgiveness is also going to be very key to your healing process. So that's something you can start doing as well while you're cleansing. And any person that's hurt you or done wrong, you need to start forgiving them. You need to start letting go. This starts to remove their energetic imprint from your body. That's why it's called to forgive. You forego, you let go of, you remove it from the body and you heal it. So you for, by forgiving someone, it's like you're taking that poison out of your body and you're neutralizing it and then you're sending it off into the cosmos, neutralized and healed. This is a part of the healer, it's called transmutation. So you will keep taking anything negative, any memory you have that's negative, you send the person who hurt you love and healing, you give thanks to the universe for the growth that you are going through, through this process, and then you let go and by doing this you also start to lessen your emotional um, reaction to the situation and after a while you won't even have a, a reaction to that situation you won't hate the person you won't feel afraid of that person you won't fear whatever it was you went through you can start letting go if you've been through something very 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 violent and aggressive that might really take some time so always be patient with yourself, with healing. And while you're doing that, again, you know, drink a lot of water, spend a lot of time in nature, really uh, try to find some peace and a quiet within while you're letting go. And you can also try EFT, the um, emotional tapping. It's, you know, sort of helps you to remove um, energetic imprints from the nervous system and the energetic system. You can try acupuncture, cranial, um, EFT, all of these things work remarkably well. Anything that's addressing or like, um, you know, massaging pressure points, because this is where you hold things in your nervous system and then block the flow of energy. So if you combine all of these things into one and you keep asking the questions, you will heal yourself eventually. Like whenever I have something wrong with myself, I just keep asking, creator, how do I heal this? How do I heal this? What's the answer? Where's my answer? How do I heal it? And then I just look, I open my eyes and I wait for the messages or I get a direct download into my head 
you know, like the one where I um, shared with you the other day, The Power of Pleasure, this was a direct download. So if you were, were suffering from child abuse or violent uh, childhood, when you grow up, what you actually need is some very safe touch and pleasure therapy that you actually need to start allowing yourself to go through um, to bring back the pleasure body over the pain body because what we can do is we create these uh, shells and these armors and these bodies that we can then put over us that block our healing so you know it's a very onion layered process uh, very multi-dimensional and for each person it's um it's very personal because of what they've personally suffered and then you've also got to think about karma karmic attachments forgiving anything from past lives undoing of contracts to experience suffering on any level of form you know we've been through this on my channel so all of these things all of these things will combine will help you find your healing okay so um i mean i'm thinking in the future that i might offering offer one-to-one -one, um skype sessions to anyone who might be interested in that if you think that's something you might be interested in let me know it's just something i'm toying with I mean, I don't have a lot of time as a mother, but if there's people that might feel stuck in their healing process who might have something that they're dealing with, if you would like to have a one-to-one -one Skype meal, you think that's something you would like me to offer here, let me know uh, and I will try to do that because really um, each person has their own path to healing. All right, guys, so uh, I love you. I wanted to share that beautiful information with you guys so you can be happy, healthy, and well, and enjoy life. All right, one love.